My name is Shyla Underwood. We've been coming to Crossroads going on four months. My name is Frank Guerrero. Struggling with alcohol. Uh, been doing that for uh, over right at 20 years. I made a lot of people hurt real bad. My mom, my wife, I mean my whole family. I couldn't do it drinking over 125 beers a week. Um, I live right down the road, so every time I would exit to go to my house, I'd pass right by Crossroads and something always just kind of drew my attention to the church and it would kind of nag at me that I should come and check it out and finally we made it. Uh, the first time that we came in, uh, a testimony was being shared that I could completely relate to and um, instead of feeling kind of chaotic and restless like I had been, I felt at peace and I felt comfortable and I felt at home. I actually knew, knew you from the, uh, another church in New Braunfels we attended. We just, we've always wanted to attend a church where we actually got fed the Word of God, uh, actually being able to receive it. And, uh, and that's the reason why we decided to uh, attend Crossroads. 1994, actually, uh, it happened uh, in November. I heard my daughter crying, she was three months old. And the Holy Spirit just came and asked me, what well, you need to make a decision, whether it be your family or alcohol. I called my sister and asked her if she could take me to a rehab place. Uh, and she said that uh, she would. And we went to San Antonio. And of course, I only stayed there one night. And the doctor said that I needed at least two weeks to detox. And uh, I told that doctor no, that I was, that, that was it. And that uh, I wasn't going to drink anymore. And he said that. I would be back. But when he said I'd be back, I said, well, you wait for me. So he's been, if he's waiting for me, he's been waiting over 25 years because that's how long I've been sober. Well, since we started coming here, I've definitely gotten more into my word. I've actually had an interest, whereas before it just, it was kind of there, but it, it wasn't, you know, a driving force like it is now. Um, the, the desire to, to be a part of the church and to be a part of the family and to, to serve and to get involved has really, really opened up a lot of, you know, areas, I guess you could say. It's great to have some friends that have the same morals and beliefs that I have and that I can share with and be honest with without the fear of judgment. It's one of my favorite things about the, this church is that you get the completely honest, gritty, embarrassing sometimes truthful testimonies, not the not the fake and oh, you know, we're all so put together sure. yeah. testimonies that you get other places that kind of make you feel inadequate. God's impacted my life in, in, in the sense that my eyes are open now to where the friends, my brothers and sisters here at Crossroads, that's basically who I uh, spend time with. And so when I'm surrounded, by my brothers and sisters like that. Uh, all, a lot of times it, it's it's uh, pretty much we're geared to, to praise God, to thank God, to pray to God, instead of uh, the other junk that I used to do. The, the decision has to be made whether you want to drink or do you want your family. You brought her into this world. God blessed you with a beautiful daughter. Is that is that not more important than alcohol? If you're here and you're wondering if this is the right church for you, all I can say is that this is the realest church I've ever been to. If you're looking for a place where you can be you and you can be comfortable and you can open up and tell your story, no matter how shady your past is, this is the place for you. If you're looking for true, honest testimonies from people that have really been there, that have really done that, this is the place for you. 
for sure. Coming here to Crossroads, from from the very beginning when we first started coming to now, it's a family. You're always welcome. Everyone's always, I mean, happy to see you. You feel at home. 